I am sick and tired of everyone talking about how Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are the ultimate power couple. That's just blatant, slanderous BS. Because everybody knows the most powerful couple in the game right now by far is Ethan and Hila Klein. There's nobody that's got style like us, there's nobody that's got grace like us, and name one celebrity that has eyebrow sunglasses. Hila Klein's the only individual with eyebrow sunglasses, and you will never be anywhere close to that. And by the way, what says power more than a Guy Fieri cosplay? <laughs> okay, what says power more than a Guy Fieri throne? This is the seat of power. Hila, you wanna take a trip to Flavortown right now? Mm, I'll skip. <laughs> Yeah, let's go to Flavortown. This is the seat of power. <laughs> let's go to Flavortown. <laughs> Are we not the po ultimate power couple? Kim Kardashian and Kanye West do not know anything about power or flavor. <laughs> I rest my case. This, my friends, is what a real power couple looks like. So 73 Questions is a stupid show by Vogue where they go to a celebrity's house and pretend like they just popped in and act like it's not scripted, even though it's the most painfully scripted. It, it makes me hurt. It's so scripted. It, it makes, it gives me pains. I feel pain in my body when I watch it. Do you know what I mean? I do. I don't know what is this feeling, but you watch it and you can't stop and you also want to die. Well said, Hila. <laughs> Kanye. Yo. <laughs> um, I'm here to ask 73 questions. I'm ready. Uh, babe, this is for me. Uh. The kids are in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Kim. <laughs> Record scratch. <laughs> this is for me. Uh. The kids are in the room. They wrote that joke. Of course. They practically wrote in <laughs> asterisk record scratch. <laughs> Kim, Hi. so I catch you guys home together. Is this like a rare thing? It is really rare, so lucky you. Oh, that's great. And um, what did you do for the first 30 minutes of your day? I woke up at 5.45, brushed my teeth, got ready, headed to the gym, and worked out. Nice. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. You know it's the first 30 minutes of her day? I took a fat shit. <laughs> I took a huge dump, bleached my anus. Do you bleach your anus? Me? Yeah. No. You know what? You know? What, yeah, you know what my anus looks like. This. Mm. Her too. It's power. Lazy day when everyone's together. There's no such thing as a lazy day. Look, I'll show you. Okay. All the kids are in the room. So your home is clearly stunning. Thank you. How would you describe this home? I would say like a minimal monastery. Wow. And where did the inspiration come from? From Axel Vavors and Kanye. Axel Vavors. Yeah, you know who inspired <laughs> our power? Guy Fieri. Yeah, you ever Fieri heard of him? And McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe you've heard of him. A little more famous than Axel Vavol. By the way, did you just move into your house? Your house is empty. Is that what you meant by monastery? She's like, we like to pretend like we're poor, even though we're billionaires. That's what I mean by monastery. We like to live humbly in our castle. Okay, random question. What was the last Kimoji that you used? Um, my daughter North used the Kim blowing the bubble gum. Oh, ah, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Hi guys! Hi! Aww. What are you doing? Daddy's in here? Adorable. Oh, thank you! Looks like she's wearing a diaper, dude. <laughs> her ass is so big, it looks like she has a tumor. How is it? I don't understand her body. <laughs> it's fake. It's fake. It's made in a laboratory. Dude, her ass is like the size of her whole body. Mm -hmm. Like her ass, it looks like she's wearing a diaper. Do you mind if I take a look around? Yeah, of course. Great. I like What's the most important thing that you want your kids to know? I want my kids to be kind. Where does the water go? The water just runs on the counter? They just have <laughs> servants come in with mops. That's what being rich is. They're like, I just, I don't even have a f***ing drain. I just pour water on my counter and you f***ers come and clean it up. Where's the water go? There's two faucet heads. Where's the water go? <laughs> Oh, they're rich on a level I don't even understand. They're so rich they don't even have, to have drains. They have their own furniture categories. Like, we don't even... This is not a comfortable home. It looks like a waiting room. Like, look at these yeah. lounge chairs. Like, imagine sitting in your own home in your own bathroom. You know that Kanye was the one. I knew he was the one when I went to his Paris fashion show. And Kanye, how did you know that Kim was the one? Uh, I saw on a paparazzi pic with Paris Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> 
What is she, just a piece of meat? What is she, just a giant ass with a body attached to it? Kanye's like, yes. We all know that's all she is. And that's exactly what I like about her. Fair enough, Kanye. What's the okay. best gift he's ever given? Um, last year for Christmas. Okay, Northeast, take your brother to go get Sprite. What Sprite? Um, it's your one time. Um, best gift. For Christmas last year, he gave me a box and I opened it and it was Mickey Mouse and Adidas socks and Apple headphones and I thought, okay. And then he told me that he bought me major stock in all of those companies. Kanye, what was her reaction? She's like, uh, okay. <laughs> well, when I thought it was just Adidas socks and headphones, I was like, thanks. That's super relatable to all the plebs out there. Mm -hmm. Although to be fair, that's kind of a shitty Christmas gift. That's like buying someone like government bonds. I was planning to buy you a loan. <laughs> you own the government money. Got you a really good interest rate. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. You really know how to make a Jew happy. You're like, I got you a loan. What? You're like, don't worry. It's 2.5% interest. <laughs> I love you. Say? you. I love you. <laughs> this was so thoughtful. <laughs> Whose career do you respect and admire the most? Um, I would say my mom's because at 50 years old, she really honestly didn't know how she was going to make ends meet and take care of all of these kids. Mm. Excuse me, can you not walk backwards for so long? It's <laughs> freaking me out. Like, what are you also, trying to prove something? <laughs> where are we? What is this? Kim, look, turn around. Turn <laughs> around. You must turn around. What are you trying to prove? Why are you walking backwards so much? Turn around, please. What is this? She's still going backwards. What is, she, what was, what the hell was that? Okay, the home tour is gonna continue with a hard right into the living room, and what kind of piano is this? This is gorgeous. Unbleached Steinway. Bro, your house sucks. <laughs> this house is so depressing. I don't they know if it's probably, a hospital. They probably go to a hotel when they actually wanna like chill. This is your living room? What is this, an operating room? How, this is the saddest shit I have ever seen. <laughs> and I love how the interview is so casual about it. Like, oh, it's stunning. This is your living room? Why does it look like a mass murderer scrubbed this murder site clean? Dexter's house, dude. I mean, I get it as an art piece, but it's still their home. You gotta too. live there. He's like, oh, a, a bunch of Oompa Loopas come out and dust every footstep after I walk <laughs> to keep it white. This house is almost racist because it's so white. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like this house is offensive to me. What's the craziest thing a fan has ever done? Well, a fan has asked me to legitimately adopt them. What? That is so weird. What's something about you that you wish more people focused on? I wish they would not focus on my ass all the time. Shut up. Please. That, that angers me. Um, have you tried wearing something else? Try wearing jeans. Oh, try taking out the giant silicone slabs that are in your ass that <laughs> makes it look like you have two ass tumors. You wish people stopped focusing on your ass. That's a nightmare of an answer. You can't be serious. That is literally the only thing interesting. Even your own husband said. I mean, she dresses like that is the most interesting thing about her. That's so. it's the focal point in this video. I wish they would not focus on my ass all the time. Okay, well then what three words do you hear <laughs> most often when people describe you? I would say sweet and smart. And is there a third? And kind. Would you say that they're accurate? Most definitely. She's so humble. <laughs> That's what I like about Kim. She's so down to earth and humble and definitely not because she has a huge ass. I would never even mm -hmm. dream of noticing that about her. Mm -hmm. What I notice about her is that she's sweet, intelligent, and kind. Basically a perfect human being. And her farts, because the fabric's so thin and her ass is so big, her farts are hella stinky too. Mm. Little known fact. Can you show me a hidden talent? I have a hidden talent of being able to smell when somebody has a cavity. That's impressive. What? We need more information about that. <laughs> Don't just say that's impressive. That's impossible. She's like, all of her kids, they're like, I think we need to see a dentist. She's like, no, 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 no. Just come here. You're good. You're good. Their mouths are all messed up. They have like 20 cavities. You're good. Kim, this kitchen is so amazing. Thank you. Wow. Um, what's your favorite thing about Armenia? 
the food. Mm, if I had 24 hours in Armenia, what should I eat? You should eat everything. All right. Hayeren hosum ek? Um, inch beses is all I know. I don't know what that means. What do you think you'll be remembered for, Kim? Um, for my many talents. All right. What's a question you generally detest being asked? I really hate when people ask me what I do. Now, this is what I hate about Vogue 73 questions. I'm learning nothing. I know nothing about her as a genuine mm -hmm. person. This is so curated. I hate everything about it. I hate their house. I don't, I like her even less. Kanye's cool. I like Kanye still. Kanye, what's the best part about being a dad? The kids. The only thing I've actually learned about them is that their bathroom doesn't have sinkholes. That's new money shit. Our water just pours on the ground. That's how rich they are, dude. That's like the most valuable information I've learned from this video. And that Kim Kardashian can apparently smell people's cavities. Freak. I wish we could focus on my sinkholes instead of my stinkholes. I wish they would not focus on my ass all the time. Instead of my stinkholes. Not exactly Elton John, but I am trying to learn. On Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. Premium memberships give you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you and your New Year goals. I've always wanted to learn how to play piano, and that's why I started taking classes with Mark from PGN here. Mark has 91 lessons here over eight and a half hours, and he's available to answer your questions and engage with you during your course. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. The first 500 of my subscribers to use the link in the description will get a two-month free trial. And an annual subscription starts at just $10 a month after the trial. And before long, you'll be writing your own masterpiece like mine here. Oh! No!